all right so we have a postman collection ready like we have a rest api this the rest api allows us to get some users detail or uh, to create a user using the post method and definitely now we have a put method which help us to update a user right so an overview of what a put method is so a put method is a method or a rest api method using which we generally update the uh, available resource right so we do have a resource available and in case that our uh, resource is available we update its detail using the put method all right so if the resource is not available then it it might say that depending upon the implementation of the rest api it might say the resource does not exist all right so let's just use the postman for it first and see are we able to update or are we able to make a put method call so let me just grab user some users detail okay let me just update this particular id so if i go to the put users method the thing is you have our API you have our uh, URL and then you need to append the user ID which you want to update and then you need to send the data with the data which you want to update so if you like if you do not send any data and just send this particular request it will give you the original data because nothing is updated but let's let me just try to update the name all right so let's say the name is required to be updated so it's let's say it's this this is the original name and let's just add it as architect all right architect let me just send this see the details are updated for the same user if i make a get call to get the details about this user we should be able to get the new or, or updated details right so let's see how do we do it using the python's request library so let's go back to our coding editor and create a file and name it as put.py all right what we need to do is we need to import our libraries its request and then we need to import our config file this is the config file where we have configuration set up for our rest api like the url and everything okay now the put method call is very similar to what a post method call is so if you go back to a post method call you just create your data and send those data in the request dot post method but this time what you need to do is you need to do the same thing but for put method okay so first let's just grab our url config dot users all right and then create a request saying requests dot put this time we need to make a put method call and then we need to pass our url to it okay one more thing to notice is a put method call for this particular api requires a access token so we already have our access token with it we already have set up it in the config file that's the method using which we can grab the access token so let's just create our headers where we will send our access token so if you notice this particular api need a header which i have added in the pop collection as author the key name should be authorization then value should be bearer space the access token so let's just create this headers so header should be a dictionary form and there is a key which i need to add the name of the key is authorization and the value should be bearer plus config it's config dot access token all right how do i pass this headers simple uh, there is a keyword parameter or a keyword argument in this put method which is named as headers the value should be headers so basically this is the keyword argument and this is the value which we have created all right we also need to send some data but let's see if we are not sending some data then what are the response what the response we are getting so let me just print the value of r as well as let me just print the value of r dot json and r dot status code okay so if i just send this particular or run this particular program so we are getting 404 the problem is the problem is uh, it's expecting a value what value is it expecting so basically it's 
expecting the user id the id which you need to update all right so let's just grab this id only and try to update it again okay so how do we do it so you need to add this as plus id all right because if you do not do it and if you try to print the value of url as of now you will see the value of url as of now is this up to users only you do not have the id all right so we you, we might need to add the id so yeah we have appended our id and now let's just try to make a request to it okay let me just clear the screen and make a put request all right so we are getting a 200 with our user details so basically 200 means that okay our our uh, post uh, our put method call was successful and these these are our, our details after it's updated so you will see the details are same or uh, if i just full screen it uh and run it again you will see that the details are same as we have got in the postman collection this is because we haven't sent any data to it to update but let's just try to send the data okay so let's just try to you know uh, update the name again so how do we do it let's go back to the coding editor create the data to update okay so data should be in the form of a dictionary and data should have a key name as name and then the original name let that let just revert it back to what it was previously let's just copy it and paste it over, right and let's just send it again so you can see uh we have got haven't i saved it we have saved it right uh let me just try to run it again okay it's not getting updated probably must be something wrong with our code let's see what's wrong mm, okay if i just go back to get the details of it it's not updated right uh, although it's saying the status code to be 200 but it's not getting updated all right now that's a problem which we need to find out hmm. okay let me just try to print the value of r as well i'm getting the response but i'm not able to update the name that's not good okay uh, let's see if i do able to do it using the postman okay using the postman we are able to update it uh right why so okay the problem is we haven't sent it the data right we just created it and we haven't sent it so let's just try to send our data to it and data should be data okay like this this is the keyword argument you use to send your data and let's just send it all right we have got it updated but yeah we updated it using postman for checking so let's just try to update it with to another value arc right and let's send it all right see we are now able to update our uh, user if we want to update any other detail you can just add a, it as well like okay let's just update the gender it is currently set to female let's just set it to male all right let's just send this and see the gender is updated from female to male right so we are definitely able to make a put call and you know we are able to update our data as well so this is how you make a put call in python uh, using the request module few things to notice again are like we need to send headers in a dictionary form and data in dictionary form and you need to use these you know keyword arguments which we just forgot but we definitely just you know uh, debugged our code and got the correct response so what's next to say is how do we make a delete call all right so this we will see the next time all right